Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. First of all, thanks very much, everybody. Happy Martin Luther King Day, in which we honor Dr. King's dream, 50% off at Nordstrom's. <laughs> and I just want to start off tonight by just saying in the words of Martin Luther King, did y'all see the game last night? <laughs> There's no way he didn't say that at some point. Yeah. I think that's an yeah. accurate quote. He had to have said that at some point, yeah, okay? At some point about some game. I'll say one thing about the game last night. I know I seem like a jock, mm -hmm. but... <laughs> that, that, that got a quicker laugh than I'd hoped. <laughs> but I didn't see the game last night, either of the games last night, and yet I kind of saw the games last night based on the number of times I've seen this. Saints receiver open in the red zone and blammo, <laughs> Rams defender just lays him out. Blatant, man, come on, blatant man. pass interference. Where was the right? ref? Where, After, was the where, ref? Was the ref, where was the ref, I've been told to say. <laughs> okay, I've where been assured that ref? that's a thing that you yell at this situation, yeah, okay? Like, also, John, helmet to helmet. Yeah. Helmet to helmet, uh -huh. right. Right. You're not supposed to do not that. Not supposed to do that. That's You're what I was told. To and <laughs> here's the thing. Had the ref thrown the flag right there, tweet, flag, game mm -hmm. over, Saints go to the Super Bowl, New Orleans is one giant party. Yeah. But, yeah. but the ref didn't, Saints lost, New Orleans is one giant party. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, that's true. Right, okay? It's always so the case. Sorry. I mean, so sorry, I wanted John. it. I could I, taste I, it. You could taste it. I could taste it. You could taste it. You could taste the victory gumbo. Now, that was tough. Yeah. But you know what was really tough? You know who that? is really What's tough? Mm. This audience. Oh, this yeah. member is right here. These people. These, these beautiful people. Impervious. Man. Who waited outside for an hour. The weather's in single digits. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I, think, I think this is the digit right there. <laughs> that's what old man... <laughs> that's what... <laughs> That's what old man Winter's doing right now. This weekend, it was like 48 degrees, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah, 48 degrees, just yeah. like yesterday. Mm -hmm. and, and we're all just minding our business like a Saints receiver, then out of nowhere, a cold front sweeps in, blammo! Oh, now, no. it was a wetter metaphor this time. Now, I like that. love football, Super Bowl's on CBS. Speaking of... <laughs> speaking of things that make you scream at your TV, Donald Trump. <laughs> it is, it is... So everything's normal. Now, it is day 31 of the Trump shutdown. 30 or 31? 31. It's day 31. Now, it's easy to remember what day we're on. Remember, it's 30 days hath September, April, June, and November. And if all the money hath been spent, January has no government. No government. 800. That's how it goes. And remember... 800,000 government employees have either been furloughed or forced to work without pay. Trump hasn't forgotten them, though, tweeting, To all of the great people who are working so hard for our country and not getting paid, I say, thank you. You are great patriots. They're not volunteering to work for free. <laughs> you made them work for free by shutting down the government. You might as well have tweeted, Thank you, great patriots. Please accept this tweet in lieu of a paycheck. Quick tip, tell your landlord Mexico is going to pay your rent. <laughs> now... It's not gonna happen. Helmet to helmet. Helmet, helmet to, to helmet. helmet. <laughs> on Saturday, Trump went on, uh, on the TV. Mm -hmm. He went on the TV, <laughs> and he made an offer that he was sure everyone would love. By incorporating the priorities, of rank-and-file Democrats in our plan, we hope they will offer their enthusiastic support. And I think many will. This is a common-sense compromise both parties should embrace. A word of warning to rank-and-file Democrats, Trump's embrace can be kind of awkward. <laughs> I don't know about that embrace. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically, in exchange for his border wall, Trump offered to restore DACA and TPS protections for three years, mm. which is weird, okay, since they're protections that he himself took away. Okay, here's the offer. You know those two hostages I took? 
give me the cash and I'll give you the hostages temporarily. Then I get them back. <laughs> now, Democrats somehow did not fall for it. In fact, well, you know, come on I now. don't know how. Yes, how did they don't. not? <laughs> so no. you want to rub the steak sauce on my head and I put my own head in the alligator's mouth. No, thank you. Mm. In mm. fact, Speaker Pelosi rejected the deal before the president even announced it. She said no before Trump isn't even asked. A move known in Washington as the Melania. <laughs> now, not everyone... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, not everyone immediately rejected the president's proposal, and Trump made sure we knew it. On Sunday, he retweeted 14 lawmakers, all of whom were gushing over his amazing offer. They're basically paid audience members in an infomercial. So you're telling me that Trump's plan ends the shutdown, secures the border, and makes the freshest guacamole I'll ever taste? Mmm, 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 mmm. <laughs> These, this, this. For one easy payment of $5.7 billion, I'm calling now. <laughs> I think that that uh, that uh, that chip had softened up a little bit in there. <laughs> now, <laughs> to help make his case, Trump even woke up Vice President and man wishing the dogs at the dog park would put on some damn pants. <laughs> Mike Pence. <laughs> Pence went on uh, The Nation Face here on CBS on Sunday, the day before Martin Luther King Day, to make this very tasteful comparison. One of my favorite quotes from Dr. King was, now is the time to make real the promises of democracy. You think of how he changed America. He inspired us to change through the legislative process to become a more perfect union. That's exactly what President Trump is calling on the Congress to do. Mike. Are you sure you want us to judge Trump on the content of his character? <laughs> he puts a lot of effort into the color of his skin. <laughs> Whatever that really is. Also, beached beach jellyfish, uncooked calamari. Also, MLK weighed in on border walls, Mr. Vice President, when he visited East Berlin and said, for here on either side of the wall are God's children, and no man-made barrier can obliterate that fact. That's nice. Come on. That's nice. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's lovely. To which Donald Trump replied, he didn't say anything about steel slats. Plus, walls clearly work. You never see a Mexican in West Germany. 